What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here with FlightPath.com. I've been flying the Autel Evo for the past couple of weeks now. And the one thing you do really notice is the sensitivity of these obstacle avoidance sensors. And the one thing I did learn with the Evo 2 compared to the Mavic 2 or the Mavic lineup is that these two side sensors here do allow you to fly in manual mode, but also have the ability to use those sensors. So that if you are flying sideways, front and back, you now have obstacle avoidance all the way around. Now having the obstacle avoidance sensors on here, there's actually 12 of them on the Evo 2, is a really good safety feature. There is some times where you might be flying and you aren't really that close to a subject and it'll automatically start slowing down, which is supposed to do that for safety reasons, but sometimes you want to be able to, you know, fly through something or fly around something. And the thing that's crazy about these sensors is that it'll sense something up to about 30 meters away. Even if you are flying around certain objects and you want to get somewhat close to it, it will already start slowing it down. So if you are out there flying and you can't see some of the obstacles in your way, it's good to know that even these side sensors, which is something that's a little bit different with the Mavic, the Mavic side sensors would only work when you're in specific modes. Here, if you're flying in manual mode or you know standard GPS mode, the side sensors do work. So if you're flying and you're trying to get some footage going this way, it will actually sense objects on the side and slow it down and stop if it needs to, if it gets a little bit too close. And I'm not gonna go through anything right now that goes to like a trees or forest at this point. I just wanna show you how I was able to test out some of the obstacle avoidance, showing you that even if you're going sideways, it'll still slow down. And also test to see how it does when it's following me around this area. Now I definitely will take this out into an area where it has a little bit more tree lines, maybe some more branches and twigs and things like that that might affect it. Here, I just wanna show you some basic obstacle avoidance that this is able to go through. All right, so I have the Evo right here, and just to show you how sensitive it is as far as the distance away from an object that those sensors actually do pick up. Now, here I am about, I'd say about 20 feet away from this little box right here, and what I'm gonna do is bring this over, and let me just go forward. I'm gonna start a little bit further back, and what I'm gonna do is actually go full throttle forward, and you'll see exactly when it stops. So here we go, let's go full throttle forward, and there you go, it's slowing down already, slowing down, and then as you can see here, it's pretty much went to a halt. I'm about 10 to 15 feet away. And as I keep pressing forward on my joystick, it'll actually creep really close to it. And it'll go really, really slow. But as you can see right there, about 10 feet away, it won't move at all. Let me turn it to now face you. Now the side sensors are what's gonna pick up next. There's nothing on that side. So it's, it'll keep going. And what I'm gonna do now is with the side sensors, see how well it does. I'm gonna push to the right. And it's already picking it up from that far away. I'm, all, I'm pushing this all the way to the right hand side and it is not going, it stopped just right here. Let's go on the back sensors, let's go forward. And full throttle backwards. And it's already slowing down and I'm going full throttle backwards right now. There you go, completely pretty much stopped about 20 feet away, 15 feet away, and now it's slowly coming backwards. All right, so what I wanna do here is go full throttle towards the chain link backstop fence. Possibly just the way the fence is, it could mess up with the sensors, it might not work as well. So this, for instance, if you might be flying a little bit further away and you can't see exactly what's in front of you, I'm about 60 feet away from the fence, so it should be able to still go full throttle towards it. And let's see if it slows down. Here we go. Full throttle up and slowing down, slowing down, and then it halts, just like that. So it actually does pick up a chain link fence as far as the backstop goes, which is really good. Now let's do the same thing with the side sensors. And let's go full throttle left. There you go. Did the exact same thing, it slowed down about 20 feet away. Now I'm about 10 feet away from the backstop and it actually stopped using the side sensors. All right, so we are now in dynamic track mode. As you can see here on my screen, it is has a box around me. Ideally, I'm gonna be screen shooting this and recording it so you're able to see it. But the drone right now is only about eight feet above me. So as you can see here, if I pan all the way around, the backstops are a good 20 feet up, 25 feet up. 
Uh, and we have, of course, a bunch of light poles here, which are, you know, a good, I'd probably say 50 feet up there. So what I want to do now is walk around and see how well it tracks me and also how well, of course, it's going to be dodging a lot of these obstacles. So let's just start walking around. Maybe I'll move it back just a little bit. And there you go. Let's, uh, so there you go. It's automatically moving up. So what I'm going to do now is Here we go. Coming walking right through these little bleachers here. It's slowed down a bit. Now I'm actually going to walk right next to this light post and see what it does. Let's see how well it handles it. There you go. It's going around it and it's going a little bit higher. Now let's actually go right through the fence here and see how this works. See what this does here, see how well it reads the fence. If it does read the fence, there you go. Nice and up and over. All right, so now that we are in more of an open area, let's just uh, give it a quick run. Okay. Here we go, let's come all the way back over here. There we go. Still on me, still on me. All right, let's see how well it does over here. We're gonna run through. It's still going, it's chasing me. Okay, let's go through another fence here. Okay, let's see how it does. Let's see how it does. It's it's still on me. Oh, there, there you go. It's going higher. It lost me. It lost me behind the awning right there. Let's see if I come back around. And there it is again. So let's tap on me. Lost me just a little bit. Let's see if it'll pick it back up. There you go, it goes a little bit higher now. Ooh, nice little dive. Look at that. Let's see how it does. Still going. Okay, another uh, light post right here. Let's see how this does. Nice. Oh yeah, not bad. Okay, let's take it up and higher. All right, so I took it up a little bit higher, mainly to kind of simulate if I were to be maybe on a bike, I needed a wider shot. Let's see what that looks like if I were to bring it back a little bit. All right. All right, so it is a little bit higher, nothing too major. And let's go. Let's see how it does. And there it is guys, the first test of the obstacle avoidance as well as dynamic track on the Evo 2. Now overall, pretty impressed because I think for me and for most people that are going to be flying in standard manual mode, if this thing is out there and you possibly can't see exactly what is right in front of it, right to the side of it, to know that doing tests like this where you're about, you know, 30, 40 feet away, it'll go up to it and slow down and then automatically stop at about 10 feet. Really nice safety feature to have. For my first test, I just wanted to bring it out to an area like this where I felt like it had a bunch of different types of obstacles that most people would run into. I normally don't you know, ride on bikes and try to track myself, so something like this could possibly work. I definitely wanna do some more testing with that. Also drones like the Skydio seems like that that's really what it's geared towards. But having obstacle avoidance for basic flying, especially if you know you're out there and you're going full throttle, 
and it picks up something about 30, 40, 50 feet away and slows it down. I think that's what a lot of people really want to have. Uh, I know the Mavic has the single sensor on the side and doesn't have the option to use those side ones, especially when you're just in standard flying mode, you have to be in some sort of smart mode for it to work. So being able to fly with a couple of sensors on the side, I think is a pretty big deal. And that was just my first test with the Evo. I'm definitely going to take it out and do a bunch more. But if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. I have a bunch of other Evo videos, so make sure you guys check those out. This is Alton Stasio with FlightPath.com. See you guys in the next one. Take care.